What's going on, my good people? And I think what we're going to talk about today is going to be quite interesting. And I want to keep this channel realistic, right? We'll, we'll have some fun with some of the, you know, in episodes or movies that I show. But also, we'll have the more uh, serious and realistic perspective in which we talk about the markets. Now, a lot of you may or may not have watched Blockchain Backers video. So, I kind of want to talk a little bit about the state of the market. And it's interesting how Elon Musk, I did a video about this uh, a couple days ago. Uh, he was saying that, you know, the next recession is going to be tough on a lot of businesses. And he's saying that his gut feeling is that maybe around this spring or summer and no later than 2023, something was going to happen. And then recently... Yesterday on the 2nd, he said, let's make the Roaring Twenties happen. And consequently, what happened after the Roaring Twenties was a Great Depression. So, I've, I have a feeling that, well, that's actually not a feeling, but if you follow any of the technical analysis that Blockchain Backer puts out, you'll know that this market may be coming to it's it's peak very very soon and its peak is probably about 10% away give or take and with that in mind the at least the crypto market has followed the stock market in terms of you know going up and if we have that small push left in the stock market, you can expect cryptos to follow suit. And I believe that will be the case. That is why I think if you're thinking about investing, don't invest in things that have already gone up. For example, we see a lot of things here. Ethereum and Bitcoin, they've had their run, right? Binance has probably had its run too. But it's the cryptos. Cardano had its run. It's the cryptos that haven't gone anywhere. Like Atero did an insane, insane, insane run. It was a couple cents and it hit above 100. Polkadot has had a run. But XRP or XLM are still way below their all-time high. And... It's interesting because as you look at these, I believe Bitcoin Cash is also. But if you're talking about having a return on your investment, XLM and XRP will be one of the ones that take off to. They'll have their moment, that's for sure. And when I look at this, right? Let me see here. I'll go to the Dow Jones. When I look at this, I see that the Dow Jones is making its move up. And traditionally, in the crypto space, every new year, it typically begins with the crypto space going up. And so I do believe altcoins are about to start taking off. And if this is any indication, I mean, without his input in it, we were already on the road to an all coin season. And one of the points that I was thinking about that Blockchain Backer brought up in his video was how the stimulus checks were given out to people. And that was before we had this monster, you know, Bitcoin bull run. And now all that money is going to start flowing into the alts. 
people who are calling for a higher Bitcoin, you have to, because the, the laws of economics do play a role here. Yeah, I understand Tether, but Tether doesn't make up for all the trillions of dollars that are in the market, in the space. And so unless there was another round of stimulus checks being given out and unemployment to the masses, then maybe you could see another run up in Bitcoin, right? But as it stands, you got to factor in the laws of economics because they still apply. And at this point, I believe that the money's going to trickle from Bitcoin to the altcoins. And that makes practical sense. It's logical. So when you look at it in terms of laws of economics and practicality, right? It would make sense for that to happen. And with the market caps of Bitcoin and Ethereum already reaching its full Fibonacci extension, it's highly unlikely that they keep on going. It's not impossible. It could happen, but it's highly unlikely. And as we get nearer to that moment, make sure you take your profits. Lock in those profits. And always keep a percentage, especially of XRP, on hand. Because when that takes off because of utility, oh boy, is it going to take off. Just watch this clip and understand how once it's utilized as a bridge currency and you have trillions and trillions of dollars flowing through it. There's no, I mean, the ceiling is non-existent because it can literally go as high as the money supply goes, right? Because it's just flowing through it. Technology. Why does technology and access for retail traders suppress volatility? Because there's more market participants. Why does more market participants suppress volatility? Because it increases liquidity. Why does more liquidity equal less volatility? In most cases. It means there's more willing buyers and more willing sellers at every price for an asset. Which means if you have an infinite amount of willing buyers and willing sellers, assets don't move. Create zero volatility. And eventually, this will be the case. And if you just replace Nostra Vostra accounts, right, and use XRP to bridge all those accounts for uh, cross-border payments. The floor for XRP is around $100, assuming there's $10 trillion in those Nostra Vostra accounts. And it can go as high as $27 trillion, Sorry. Yes, $27 trillion, which would make the mar uh, each XRP $270 a piece. So you go figure what this crypto is worth. Alrighty, this is none other than the Mega Bull experience, and I'll see you in the next episode.